guess who just got the new Z6 Mark III. So now this is a mine for keeps, but it is mine for 24 hours to participate in a giveaway contest. Hello my friends on YouTube. Today I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes and showing you how I made my life with Rosa. So do go check that out and of course subscribe if you like this kind of behind the scenes content. So if you don't know Outdoor Photo, it is a local camera shop here in Pretoria and they were hosting a Nikon competition. So it was quite simple and straightforward. I had to go to Outdoor Photo rent a camera for only 24 hours, shoot my entire video, and then edit and submit before the deadline. Use it wisely. All right. So after collecting the camera, it was time to go through the settings and see what the camera has to offer, what it can do, what it can't do. And while I was going through the settings, I got a call from Godox South Africa. I'm Steve, and I'm here from Godox How's it going? Thank you very much, man. And also, like I said, thanks for the opportunity. So I just won. Godox competition. Thank you so much. I'm going to be collecting my package tomorrow when I return this camera. Anyway, so the plan was to try and showcase as much of the camera and use it in the most user-friendly kind of way. It offers a lot of cool specs, but not the average Joe is going to be shooting ProRes or RAW. I took the simplistic approach on a consumer level to see how I can utilize all the features of this camera in the most basic sense. Now features that stood out to me was it could shoot up to 240 frames in Full HD. It could shoot in 4K, which is fantastic. They're talking about some good low light performance. And finally, they were bragging about the autofocus. So I had to figure out how to make a short film that showcases a day in my life within a minute while pointing out all the cool stuff about this new camera. So this got me thinking, what does a day in my life look like? Sometimes I'll just be editing some videos, chilling out, shooting some videos. It's always willy-nilly. But one thing that my days all have in common is Rosa. So before losing daylight, I started to do all the afternoon stuff. Nia, any car, people? I very quickly realized we had to do things over and over and over. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, almost, come. There's a set. Good girl, stay. Good girl. Hey, hey, good girl, Baba. Good girl, I can do. Perfect, good girl, Baba. After shooting all the afternoon stuff alone, I went to my sister and she helped me out with a couple of slow-mo trampoline shots. Now I wasn't sure where to squeeze it in, but I had to, I absolutely had to, with the 240 frames, make sure I get a slow-mo shot of Rosa flying in the air. <laughs> Luckily, I eventually found a good spot for it, which was in the opening title. So after jumping on the trampoline... Rosa, catch! 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 It started to get a bit dark. So that's when I went out to a field for the little walk scene. Luckily, Wayne was there to help me out because I didn't want to be out in the middle of a field with expensive camera equipment all by myself and asked Wayne to just do a couple of tilting shots for me. He did an excellent job. Thank you very much, Wayne. I appreciate it. I did some that were exposed properly. I did some that were a bit underexposed so I could get a nice silhouette just so I could test the capabilities of the camera. I saw these birds flying past. I was like, oh, Nikon's good at taking pictures of birds. So I just pointed it up in the air, zoomed in, and I was just tracking these birds flying in formation and it ended up being a cool shot and I actually ended up using it in the edit so that was that was a happy accident as we like to call it so after doing all the low light stuff outside Rosa, Rosa, come. Come to, yeah, track. I went home and then I lit the interior we got the Godox S100 by behind me with the snoot on just to isolate the direction so it only spills here not over the whole room. I've got the newer LED panel with the soft box next to me. You know, I can motivate this light coming from this lamp. Then behind me on the outside, the other LED panel for the flickering effect. Ha -ha, she's looking for the treats in my pocket. I'm going to switch on the TV and put it on a flicker effect. Straightforward. Cool. Now it's a matter of giving her treats and then putting food in front of her and then she's not allowed to eat the real food but she can get a treat so it was a bit of a mission. She got a bit confused. 
Kijk hem. I had this cute little shot where I was gonna share the sandwich with her and she did not seem interested in it at that point. Ugh, this is gonna be nasty. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> That's enough. I was done with Rosa and she could go rest while I just did the rest of my bits. So it was a lot of awkward acting, doing it over and over and over. No, not my sandwich. Why do I go, <laughs> go down like, no, my sandwich. No, not my sandwich. Why am I reacting before I see it? See it, then react. My manwich. What was that? What are you doing? Just be fucking normal. I then shifted to my desk where I did the little editing bits. Again, did some close-ups of myself, did some shots of my keyboard hand inserts, and once I was done with all of that, I then called Rosa again. So I think an important thing when you're working with children and animals is to give them lots of breaks, lots of attention, and lots of time to just unwind. So you'll do all the bulk of your stuff and then you'll get them in for a little bit and then you'll do your stuff and you'll get them. So it's not too much pressure for them. At this point, I noticed that Rosa seemed to be a bit over it, but I mean, it's like four in the morning. We've been playing all day. Camera had to go back in a couple of hours. So I had to make sure that I need to shoot everything that I can with the time I had. So the next scene I did was the nighttime scene. So it was easy for her and that's when we called it. That was a wrap for the day. We could then switch off the lights and actually go to bed. Once the sun came up, it was for the early morning scenes. That's when I hazed up the entire place. I put up a couple of lights and I did my bit as well, waking up. I had to hide treats, hide her toy, just to try and get her to hop on the bed and wake me. After that, I did the long tracking shot to get that creepy monster crawling up on you intro, which I did on a gimbal. So I put the camera on the gimbal and I had it low to the ground and I was running through sort of like a dog, pretending I'm a... Why do I do stuff like this on the internet? Pretending to be a dog running in and jumping onto the bed. When we were done with that, it was for the final shots, which was the water stuff, which I wanted to leave for last so that she can get wet because this dog loves water. So that it's a nice little treat for her at the end of the shoot and she can get wet and stay outside when we're done. So after all of this, I managed to finish in time, went to outdoor photo and returned the camera. That's where they did a little giveaway where they handed over the Godox light that I won. Congratulations from the outdoor photo team for winning our Godox SA giveaway. Here's your prize. Thank you very much. So awesome. yeah, the rest was done in the edit. It's a matter of doing sound design, which really pulls it together. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how I made my life with Rosa, which ended up being amongst the top four and I got a Tilta voucher, so that's pretty awesome. And the winner was Mornay Smith. Congratulations. He has an insert of his reel that I stole from Outdoor Photos page. <laughs> So congratulations and congrats to all the other guys that also won Tilta Vouchers and every single one that participated in this competition. I hope you all had great fun just like me and all my followers. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the short film. Do you like these kinds of breakdown videos? Because I'm going to be making them. You don't have a choice. If you're interested in just the sound design, stick around because that's going to be playing right now. Fetch. No. No, 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 no.
Come on, let's go. Let's go. That's it, and you can go now.